All right, so we're gonna put the magnets on. Uh, the magnets come with a adhesive double-sided tape. Uh, the link will be provided in the description for this part. Uh, make sure before you put them on that they attract to each other on the other on the other part. Make sure two parts attract to each other. Don't put them the wrong way, or it will not work. So it's pretty straightforward. Also, make sure you have the both parts too. The female and the male. Uh, so yeah, now we're gonna put some Velcro, double-sided tape Velcro. You're gonna wanna use the rough stuff, not the soft stuff, because the soft stuff is on the enclosure already. Um, you know, just cut it flushed. Three sides only. Uh, cover one magnet up. This is gonna help to uh, basically keep the magnet in place because it will slip out, trust me. And then the other side, uh, I'm gonna show you in a second, but we're basically instead of using velcro we're going to put just double-sided tape normally you can use whatever you want tape i just like to use it because it gets a nice grip on it uh this is just all these i'm going to provide links to by the way now we're going to attach it to the enclosure like that one side and the other side already has a magnet side we're going to put it on and you know just make sure it's on there nice uh now put the duct on that's simple and this is this is my setup yo got it for two printers and this shit's the bomb, you know, connected to a carbon filter. Uh, no fumes, no smell, no nothing. Um, really good setup. I recommend. Uh, not enough people do this with their Ender 3s. They're probably going to get cancer. They're probably going to get sick. Um, don't want too much exposure to that shit.